fill in the blanks. So another reading. This is our second one. So I'm going to just quickly go through those steps again, just to remind you. Okay, so it's step one, read the first line, see what the text is generally about. And that's going to help you to anticipate, to guess what kind of words you might need in each blank or each gap. Number two, read a few words before and after the gap. So gap and blank, same meaning. So a few words before the gap, a few words after the gap. Look at the grammar. So do you need a noun or a verb? Do you need a word to describe a noun or describe a verb? And also look at the context. Now, if you don't understand the context, read a little bit more before and after the gap. Step four, eliminate any incorrect options. So down the bottom, you'll have six, seven or eight words. So any words you know, no, it can't be this. You eliminate those. And then you choose the best remaining answers. So you might have three or four possible words left. Choose the best one. But if you don't know the answer, if you really don't know, no clue, come back to it later. Fill in the ones that you can. And in doing that, you're already eliminating some of those words because you've used them already. Others you've eliminated because you know, well, it can't be that. So you might only have one or two words left. Choose the best one. If you've got no idea, well, you're going to guess, but you're guessing out of one or two, maybe three, but not out of seven. So you're increasing your chances. So this is a good strategy if you don't know. Okay, so we'll have a look at one in a moment, and I'll go through the first couple of steps with you. And then I'll leave you on your own to finish it. Okay, so let's look at that next slide. Let's look at the text. Okay, so I'm going to read that first line. Separation of bike lanes and roadways, something cyclists from the social and commercial domains of footpaths. Okay, so what's it about? It's something about roads and bikes and people riding bikes. So cyclists, people riding bikes. Okay, I've got the general context. Let me read specifically around the gap. So separation of bike lanes and roadways, something cyclists from the social and commercial domains of footpaths. Separates. Uh, se well, separates is not down there, but also I notice separation. Probably they're not going to repeat the word separation of bike lanes and roadways separates cyclists. Is there anything else with a similar meaning, similar grammar? So I'm looking for a verb and I naturally put an S on it. So possibly a verb with an S on it. What have we got? Uh, and roadways deduct cyclists. No, incorrect. A like cyclist? No, remove cyclists. Separation of bike lanes and roadways remove cyclists from. Okay, I like that one, but let's keep checking. Um, and roadways, lanes, cyclists, no. Essential cyclists, no. Culture cyclists, no. Act, no. Must be this one. Okay, so I've gone through a process of elimination. First of all, I guessed what kind of word I thought it might be. Didn't see it here, so I looked for a synonym or a similar word, similar grammar. Tested a number of them, made my choice. Okay, now I'm ready to go to the next one. Okay, so I'm going to give you one and a half minutes and I want you to complete this task in that one and a half minutes. Off you go.
Okay. How did you go? Was it enough time? Did you complete it? Are you confident with your answers? Did you guess some of them? Let's have a look at those answers and we'll see how you went. Okay. So the first one we decided was removes. So second one, let me read a little bit before and after. City designers and cyclists, something may argue. All may argue. Both may argue really may argue, possibly may argue. Few ideas, not quite sure. Let's have a look. So there's nothing like both or all actually may argue, possible. Let's start at the beginning. Deduct may argue, no. Alike may argue. Oh, that looks good. City designers and cy cyclists alike. So that means all of them. Yes, so that has a similar meaning to what I was initially thinking of. Let me keep going. And cyclists, lanes may argue. No, lanes don't argue. Essential may argue. Culture may argue. Actually may argue. Okay, so for me, it's between alike and actually. And I think alike is the more natural one in the context. Not 100% sure, but I'm 99% sure. I'm going to go with alike. Correct answer, alike. Okay, next one. However, what is something needed is, what is really needed? But when I was looking at the words before, I saw actually, same meaning as really. However, what is actually needed? Deduct needed, lanes, essential need. No, okay, must be actually. And last one, the development of a proper cycling lane. And I've got lanes, but uh, lanes? No, the grammar doesn't work. Okay, a proper cycling deduct. No doesn't mean anything. A proper cycling lanes, no, the grammar's no good. A cycling essential, a cycling culture, a proper cycle. Okay, I like that one. That's the best option. So I didn't really know what to expect. Went through the options. That looked pretty good. I chose that one and hey ho, I was right. So let's look at the scoring. Okay, and the scoring. So there were four blanks or four gaps. I got all four of them, so I've got 100%. If you've got three out of four, you've got 75%. If you've got two of them correct out of four, you've got 50%. Only one correct, you've got 25%. Now, if you're getting 25 or 50%, you want to think about why. Is it a problem with your vocabulary? Um, is it a problem with your speed that you need to learn to move more quickly through this? Um, what's actually happening. If you've got 100%, beautiful, 75%, is it just one you happen to get wrong or is this a problem with your vocab? So try and work out what the issue is, do lots and lots of practice and make sure that you're doing it in that time frame, about a minute and a half, and you can go up to two minutes if you need to. Okay, you ready for the next one? 